Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many Spark developers encounter when working with Amazon EMR. Our viewer is trying to run a Spark job, but is facing an issue with logging. They've set up their Log4j configuration, but while they can see logs in the console, the expected log file isn't being generated. Let's dive into the details and find out what might be going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To specify the location of your custom Log4j configuration when using Spark Submit on Amazon EMR, you need to ensure that your log4j.properties file is correctly referenced. In your Spark Submit command, you have added the configuration for extra Java options. However, the path you provided may not be correct. It should point to the location where the log4j.properties file is stored on the cluster. Make sure that the log4j.properties file is in the correct directory. If you are using the root directory, it should be accessible by all executors. You might want to specify a path relative to the working directory. Additionally, review your log4j configuration settings. Ensure that the file appender is correctly set up to write logs to the specified file path. Finally, if you still see logs in the console but not in the file, check the permissions of the directory where you are trying to write the log file. The EMR cluster needs permission to write to that location. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To specify the location of a custom Log4j configuration when using Spark Submit on Amazon EMR, you can use the Files option to include your log4j.properties file. However, since you can't access it with sparkfiles.get, you'll need to set the Log4j configuration directly. On the driver, find the driver TMP there in the Spark UI under Spark Properties. For executors, use a local directory reference for the Log4j configuration. Set the Log4j configuration with either Nadid Log4j configuration equals file slash slash the dot properties or minus deed log dot configuration file Log4j dot properties. Remember to include Spark dot driver dot extra Java options for the driver settings. Lastly, consider adding dlog4j.debug equals true to spark.executor.extra Java options to debug the log4j configuration locations. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. When using Spark 2.2.0 in a standalone cluster, the executor JVM starts before the application jar and files are distributed. This means that specifying a custom Log4j configuration file at the executor launch won't work as the file isn't available yet. If you try to set the Log4j configuration with spark.executor.extra Java options, you'll see an error indicating that the Log4j configuration file cannot be found. 
the default Log4j profile will be used instead. Later, the Log4j configuration file will be downloaded, but this timing issue means you can't specify your own logging configuration directly in Spark Submit for standalone clusters. You can dynamically reconfigure Log4j in your job code, but this requires careful implementation, such as using a map partition lambda in the executor's JVM. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To specify a custom Log4j configuration when using Spark Submit on Amazon EMR, you can use a command that includes the Log4j properties file. This ensures log files are generated in both driver and executor nodes. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.